Hello guys, today we'll have a code review of routes in Laravel based on this project. I received this email and the person asked to review his quiz application, quiz app, which is a really simple application that looks like this. So admin or simple user can log in, manage the sections and the questions for quiz, take the quiz, then get the results and stuff like that. And after looking at the repository, I decided to focus on one specific area, which is the routes, because there are quite a lot of things to learn from, I think, for you guys, not only for the author, from this routes file. I think it can be cleaned up pretty massively. So let's take a look. There's route middleware with role admin, and they use Spotty permissions package, which is fine. Then there's one route for manage user controller for admin. Then there's home for admin. And then there's a sections controller, which is basically route resource just split into different routes. So I will try to refactor it in almost live mode to the route resource for sections controller, then pretty similar route resource to the questions controller. And then also there's user route middleware group where we can also refactor the quizzes like a route resource. So at the end of this lesson, at the end of this video, this routes web file should be much shorter and much more readable and much more to the standard of Laravel naming. Let's make it all more readable. Let's start by separating the controllers into subfolder into namespaces. I really personally like to do that because if there's admin area and if there's user area on the website, in this case, it's pretty small, but still it's better to have separately app HTTP controllers admin and then user. So I will create a folder new directory admin and I will move, for example, admin controller to that admin subfolder refactor. And then we need to add, of course, the namespace of admin. And in here in the routes web, we need to change that to admin, admin controller. And same with manage user controller. And here I don't like the naming of manage user controller. If it's admin, it's supposed to be manage things. So I would just shorten that to user controller. So let's do open that file, rename file to just user controller. PHP Storm will automatically rename the class as well, user controller, and routes web will also be renamed to user controller. So that's already better, user controller and admin controller. Also then, each of the controllers has only one method. So if your controller has only one method, you can shorter this to call invocable controllers. So in user controller, instead of index, let's call the method underscore underscore invoke and then you don't need to specify the index here you can just do it like this route get to the class and then the class if that class has the invoke method it would be executed but also here i don't see the need for the controller at all because it just loads the view so why don't we do copy this view and do route view users like this so that's even shorter. We don't even need the controller for user. So we can even delete that. So delete the file, delete the user controller, delete it from here. And if we refresh the page, nothing really breaks. It still works. Cool. Next, let's delete that route, which was commented out. Admin home. First, I don't like the route of admin home. It should be under prefix admin and then it should be just simply this, I think. So slash admin would be this URL to admin controller and the method should be not admin home. Again, let's do the invoke here. Invocable controller with admin controller class and we don't need any method to specify here. And the name admin home, I also don't like the name. It should be dot notation with admin and then home or index. I really like index by the way, but let it be home. And also while loading that, I forgot one thing in the admin controller. Of course, that controller doesn't work because it needs to be imported. So if you have the subfolder for admin, then you need to use the controller because it's one layer above. Now, another error of admin home not defined. Of course, we need to search through the code where it is actually used. It is actually used in quite a lot of places. So let's change that in all of the project, admin home to admin dot home, replace all 28 occurrences, but I probably replaced something wrong because this should not be admins admin home. Oh, it's the view, the name of the view. So let's also replace that to admin home, replace and then 
rename the actual file resource views admins admin home let's rename that to just home home blade and let's leave the folder as admins i will not rename that also i like to separate one line before the return view in any controller method just for readability now if we refresh we have admin home corrected cool and also i will rename users index to admin.users and also behind the scenes i've replaced that everywhere in other files where it is used so now we have two routes, two single routes for the users, which actually under the hood uses live wire data tables for all the actions for managing users. And then we have one home action with invocable controller for the home. Now let's get to the sections. A typical route resource controller. So for example, if we do route resource, which will be our final goal sections to sections controller like this, it contains seven methods or should contain seven methods index create and store, edit and update, show and delete. Let's see what methods do we have here. So list section should be index, then create section should be a form, then store section should be store, edit section should be a form, update section should be update, then detail section should be a show method and delete section should be a destroy method. And some of the verbs are incorrect according to the route resource. It should be route delete here and update should be route put or route patch. So to be able to change this seven lines or actually 14 lines into this, we need to rename quite a lot of things. So in sections controller, we need to first rename the methods. So create then list section becomes index, store section becomes store, then edit section becomes edit, and it uses route model binding, cool, great. Update section becomes update, and it also uses route model binding. Then detail section becomes show, delete section becomes destroy. And this one can also use route model binding, section, section, and then no need to do something here, also this. Then, of course, we need to change the routes everywhere where it is list section, update section, somewhere else in the code, in the blade or somewhere. Our goal is to have one route resource. And also with that resource, we have a naming. So it would be sections.index, sections.create and stuff like that. And with that, I already see that for this route group, we will have the same name prefix admin. So this prefix is for URL, but we also have the prefix for the naming so name could be admin dot and for that one of the options is to have as and then admin dot and then here if we have admin dot we don't need to repeat that in all the routes so this becomes users this becomes home and then all of those become admin dot sections dot action and as an example i will just rename the create section whenever i find them so create section we have route in a few places so here and here so we will rename that route create section to admin sections create. And in another file, of course, I could do multi replace, but just to show you visually admin sections create. And then file by file, we should replace the route names with the route resources. And then we can delete all of that and even this one like this. And now our routes web is much shorter. So we dealt with sections and actually thinking about it, I've showed you the principle. So it doesn't make much sense for me to repeat the same thing for the question and the same thing for user quiz. I will just show you the end result, the desirable result, and you will see how shorter it becomes. Actually, let's auto format it with PHP storm. Okay. More readable. So now we'll have route resource sections. And for this, we should have store question to the section, create question to the section. So it's kind of a route resource, but two levels. We have section and then inside of the section, we have question. And for that, we can do something like this sections dot questions. Then it will generate the nested resource with sections slash section ID as a parameter and then questions crud route resource. And in here we would have questions controller or maybe we could rename that to sections question controller or something like that. And then again, in the question controller, you rename create question to create section becomes a parameter in all of the methods. So even here, then you need to have section and then question. And instead of detail, you have show what is this line doing here? Not sure. Let's delete that. So I have show then store question becomes store 
and also section is present and also this weird line is here let's delete that then delete question also becomes destroy and here instead of id we will have section section question question and you don't need find or fail here and then here you don't need to reference the section because you have that as a parameter so when you have all the functions here you can use route resource to sections questions and delete all of those also i've mentioned that the verbs are a bit different so maybe i've broken something i haven't tested everything i wanted to show you the idea in ideal scenario for such refactoring you would write automated tests and then run them after the refactoring and see what has broken and what other parts need to be renamed or fixed and also finally we have app user controller but it's actually a different naming i don't like app user controller as a name it's all about quiz so user quiz home user quiz details delete user quiz and start quiz to me it seems like also a route resource controller but not finished so four methods only so this would be index this would be show method this would be destroy method and this would be probably create method and then the controller would be quiz controller or user quiz controller under the for example namespace of controllers user and by the way i forgot to put the sections controller and questions controller into the admin actually let's try to do that now it refactors and probably will remove the reference admin here extends controller we need to actually import the controller then and in the routes web do we need to make changes yep we do questions controller and same with sections controller let's move that to admin refactor and we need to change that here admin here controller import here and routes web admin and then we have another controller which is outside of admin and for that maybe you should create a controller user subfolder and separate those two or just leave it in the main controllers folder as here but i would again rename that to quiz controller or something like that so let's for example imagine that we did that already that refactoring and we'll probably have quizzes to quiz controller which doesn't exist so it would be underlined then on top of prefix we will have also as user dot all the names for the quiz controller should be user dot quizzes dot index or dot show something like that and then we could remove all of those four and let's reformat that and now as you can see our routes web is only 40 lines of code Actually, it could be even shorter if I do it all in one line. But anyway, it's much shorter than listing all the methods with the controllers. And also, it's more readable in terms of naming, standard naming of Laravel CRUDs and resource controllers. And personally, I'm a big fan of sticking to the naming and to the CRUD controllers because later in the future other developers other laravel developers will analyze your code and they would expect some kind of standard and the best known the best the most well-known standard in laravel is resource controllers so if one developer sticks to that it makes life easier for other future laravel developers to read that code so when i see route resource i immediately know what methods there are if i see create section delete section destroy section all of that then the methods are readable yes but i would not be sure as a new developer how to reference those methods how to call them and whether there are any errors potentially or not so that's it a short kind of refactoring not done fully because it would take like an hour or so and i want to shorten it to the main message if you want to see me doing more practical stuff with routes you can see me live coding on my teachable i have a few courses where i actually created real projects like live coding checklister with livewire and spark like this just stream and livewire project this coding mini reddit all of them are in laravel 8 so latest version you can check out those courses or you can subscribe to yearly membership which will get you the access to all courses currently 21 courses and everything i will release for the year ahead so that is a better deal in my opinion just mathematically that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos